What's good YouTube? We back at it like a bad habit. Today it is year two, quarter two, as you can see right here. It is the 30th. So the sixth month is just about to end. That's tomorrow. And then we're into quarter three to crush it out, but we have a lot of stuff to cover. So let's just get straight into the video. First things first, as usual, we have our assets for this quarter. Uh, we're gonna start off with our vending business. Uh, this includes two triple head machines. This includes one vintage machine. I gave away the other. This includes four single head vin uh, gumball machines. This includes a large, as you see right here, uh, gumball machine, which I'm gonna try and place tomorrow, actually. Uh, this includes my office and my other five uh, actual vending machines, snack and soda. Includes everything, and this, with now that I've calculated the income, uh, included with the location, evaluating my business around uh, a rough $12,050. This includes the inventory that you see around me, as well as some of the inventory in, so it's a little low, $200, I accounted for all of that. So $12,050, that's how much my vending machine business is worth about right now. So let's get into the next thing. We have our stocks. We have our Robinhood account. It's sitting at about $3,152.67. We have our TD Ameritrade account. It's sitting at $336.02, uh, leaving us at a total of $3,488 uh... now on to the next thing under the assets column we have our bank account our bank account is sitting at two thousand six hundred and fourteen dollars and ninety three cents now we have our cash that we have on hand right now sitting at about two thousand and fifty one dollars um, and then we have our accounts receivable this monday my girlfriend's mom is going to be giving me another three thousand to help me pay for the car if you've seen the most recent video help me pay for that car and uh, so that's going to be coming in another three thousand dollars this Monday. So that's accounts receivable. Um, and the reason I'm holding so much cash is because of the cash that my wife has given me to help me pay, buy a new car, as well as um, me working and just leaving the money in there. Uh, and I'm holding cash because I'm looking for another car. As you can tell, in our assets for year two, quarter one, we had a car, uh, but as you can see in this quarter, we are not accounting for a car and most of that money is back into cash because that is how I'm receiving uh, that. So that's that. That leaves us at a total of $23,204.62 is our estimated assets, total assets. Uh, we are up 21% from $18,377.61, which is what our assets were at last quarter. Now, without further ado, let's get into our liability section. We have our first credit card, which is our Chase Freedom uh, Chase Freedom Unlimited card, sitting at about 132 bucks, and then our Discover card is sitting at about 617 dollars and some change. Uh, these are already going to be paid off. Uh, it's just holding a balance right now because I purchased something. It's not an actual rotating amount. Uh, I will pay this off with the amount of money that's in my bank account and things like that. There's no. I don't have. I'm not holding any balance from month to month for anybody that was interested in that. Uh, this leaves us at total liabilities, which is down uh, $750. So last, so last quarter, our total net worth is at about $15,387.73. Now this, this quarter, our total estimated net worth is now at $22,454.29. Uh, now that puts us at 32% up in the last three months, which is doing pretty dang good for three months. Um, now flip this, we have so much information, things are getting crazier and crazier. So that's why I'm reading off of it because it's just almost impossible for me to remember all this stuff. Um, except that I kind of do, I just don't want to mess anything up, I want to get the numbers exactly. So now we're going to get into our cash flow statements for the last three months. This is about how much money we are spending, about how much money we are making, so you guys can keep track of that as well, and so can I. So we're going to hop into our expenses. Uh, we have our phone bill sitting at about $45, it's up $10 from last month. I've changed my plan to where I have a little bit more data because I've been on the road with my main job, which is steam cleaning, if you guys didn't know. Um, and then we're on to our next one, which is gas. We've, spend, we've been spending on average about $120. I've been keeping closer track of that uh, on gas a month. Uh, our food is sitting closer to around $225 a month uh, for food and things like that. 
Our insurance is now lower for last quarter. It's sitting at about $130 a month because I recently got married, as you guys seen in the last video. Um, uh, we have storage for our phone because it's sitting at freaking, I think, 16 gigabytes. And just with all the content that I have to have for YouTube, such as thumbnails, clips, things like that, uh, I pay for our iCloud storage, and that sits at $1.99 per month. Uh, now we have our editor, shout out to Charlie, if you're watching this, of course you're watching this because you edited it. Uh, we, we budget about $100 for my boy, uh, uh, if, if I'm not uploading then of course I'm not paying him, but I'm paying per video, But so I budget about $100 a month for him, uh, depending on how many videos I put out, but I just budget that much. Now we have our miscellaneous things such as we buy different food that we're not supposed to buy, such as fast food, we buy things like, I don't know if you guys know this, but I play Magic, I'll probably get into that in another video, Magic, the, the Gathering, the card game, I spend money here and there playing that at F&M's and things like that, so I have like a budget for miscellaneous things, um, that's sitting at about $120 a month, and then we have our vending expenses, so every single month we buy more product, and that's sitting about $200, so right now our expenses are up. Uh, a couple hundred bucks sitting at nine hundred and forty two dollars uh, that is at sitting at thirty seven percent of our total revenue now let's get into our revenue uh, we make about one thousand six hundred and fifty six dollars after taxes with our steam cleaning service company uh, then we're in the next couple months I'm estimating that I'm going to be making about three hundred dollars a month uh, the bar has been extremely slow if you've seen the last quarter I had higher numbers for how much money I'd be making at this company uh, but it's actually lower now because the times are slow. Uh, our stock appreciation has actually gone up from last quarter. We have made about $45 a month in the last three months. Uh, our, we still sell merchandise, link in the description. Shameless plug, you know what I'm saying? Um, uh, we make about five to 10 bucks. We don't make much money from that, but it is revenue. Uh, and then we have our vending revenue, which is actually up a lot. Uh, sadly, our bar revenue, our tips and things like that has gone down, so it kind of balances out in our revenue, and it actually leaves us at slightly less money per month than we were making three months ago. Uh, our vending revenue is up about 500 It's not up, it's at about $500. You guys will see that in quarter, the month four of the vending business, that video coming out soon. We are, so our total revenue is sitting at about $2,556 leaving us at a, uh, our 63% savings rate and our expenses sitting at 37% of how much income we make per month. Mm, I hope this, this is very informative. If you guys have any questions or anything like that, uh, before you ask me, of course, smash the like button. And then, of course, hit me up on YouTube, hit me up on Instagram, at Jonah Fury. Uh, and I'll, I'll help you guys as much as I can. We're all on a grind together. Uh, that's why I like uploading content like this. That's why I like documenting my journey because if it helps somebody, it helps one person and it changes how they view money. It changes their circumstances, which could just, the butterfly effect is absolutely insane. So if you guys need any help, any help at all, please get in contact with me. I will try my best to help you financially, emotionally, anything like that. If you need help, let me know. Um, but that's it for year two, quarter two. Uh, stay tuned for year two, quarter three, coming up in three months. Uh, if you haven't already hit the like button comment let me know your thoughts on videos like this let me know if you enjoy me uh updating you guys if you enjoy me documenting my net worth things like that so you compare uh friendly comparison so you could use it constructively uh but as always guys keep grinding and keep freaking growing